Have you lost your fight? Gave up on yourself? Well, enough is enough. It is time for you to get up and get your fight back. Let's talk about that. Hi everyone, welcome to Mana for Thought. I read this quote once that says, you cannot change your destination overnight, but you can change your direction. So if you are tired of feeling as if you are not good enough, held to unrealistic standards, treated as if you have no value, feeling unproductive, as if you are going nowhere? Well, today God is saying enough is enough. In Deuteronomy 2, God spoke to Moses. He said, tell the children of Israel, ye have come past this mountain long enough. Turn you northward. Come past means to circle. God was saying to Israel, you've circled this mountain long enough. It is time for you to turn northward. It is time for you to change your direction. Mountains are obstacles we face in our lives. We all have them. And many of us never get rid of our mountains because we spend too much time circling them rather than climbing them. Sometimes those mountains are our very thoughts with one of the most prominent components being fear. Fear of the unknown, fear of failure, fear of letting go. Fear can be a life crippling issue. Remember that where the mind goes, the man will follow. So if you have a fearful mindset, you will live a dreadful life. These mountains, may have been erected by past hurt. Always being told you will never be enough, feeling worthless and unloved. Listen, enough is enough of fear dictating the terms of your life. You need to decide for yourself today. Are you a passenger? Are you in the passenger seat of your life or are you the driver? God wants you to change your direction. As he told Israel, go northward. He wants you to change your position. Why? Every day you go through the same routine. You take another lap around that mountain, circling the issues of your life, feeling like you are in exile. As if you are just not getting anywhere, not accomplishing anything. You find it difficult to feel motivated to pursue your goals when you think that nothing you do is right or none of your efforts will make a difference. You are going east to west, which is on a continuum. Therefore, you will not find what you are looking for in the direction you are headed. Today, God is saying to you, Enough is enough. Go northward. North in the Hebrew means saphon, to hide, treasure up, dark, gloomy. When God told Israel to go north, he was sending them in the direction of their enemies. Changing your direction requires facing your enemies, your fears, going toward the unknown, going over your mountain and not around it. Going north may seem dark, will be hard, even impossible at times, and you will want to give up. So how do you change that direction? How do you change that mindset? Change your direction by changing your focus. Focus on what's important. Grow past your mistakes, grow past your failures, face your fears. Will you agree with me today that enough is enough? That you are tired of feeling this way? That you are tired of being fearful of the future? For Israel to get to where they needed to go, 
They had to go north and face their enemies. We face our fears for a reason. It helps us to grow. If you don't overcome your fears, you will never move from where you are. You will never develop a growth mindset and become a person of action, change, and success. Instead, you will remain stuck in the same situation, circling that same mountain over and over. I want to encourage you that as the Lord spoke to Israel, he is talking to you today. And he is saying, be strong and of good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God doth go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Listen, life is too short. And you have the opportunity today to speak to your fears, to speak to what's holding you back and say enough is enough. It is time to get your fight back. I'm Alison Cornelius and thank you for joining me on Mana for Thought.